everyone welcome to js cafe and in today's video we are going to talk about progressive images so without wasting any time let's get started so um usually uh, this progressive image concept is based around uh, you know uh, how we can improve the user experience if we are loading large image files for instance uh, you can see that uh, on my page i am loading an image that is uh, large dot jpg and the current size of this particular image is 2.5 mb okay this which is very huge uh for me and let and currently i have throttled uh, the network so currently i am i have switched it to a slow 3g so let's reload this page and see what happens uh yeah so we have rendered see the image took time to load right now let us uh, look at the scenario where this concept of progressive image comes into the picture and how will it improve the user experience now for this particular use case i have enabled uh, the progressive image thing and now let's uh, refresh and see how uh, this whole uh, you know behavior looks like when the progressive image uh, concept is applied so again i am on a slow 3g and let's wait for the resources to load see you see a blurred image and this particular uh, image is loading once loaded we can see that uh, uh, the blur effect is gone and we are able to see the complete image right which is much more better than the previous example where we saw that image was loaded in half then again some part of the image was loaded so it was kind of a uh, you know breaking experience for a user but uh, compared to this one where we saw you know a, a blurred version of the particular image and we also noticed that uh, this particular uh, load uh, image load didn't take time the moment i i uh, saw the page the text was rendered and the blurred image was also rendered without taking any time so this gives user a, a you know a sense of of uh, satisfaction or it uh, it is very uh, user friendly or so that he is aware that what kind of image is going to be rendered okay so a part of image is rendered but uh, i exactly know how what is the size and how would the color look like right so progressively loading images is something uh, uh, which is practiced by many websites uh, if you if you read articles on medium.com then perhaps you might have seen this blur effect already So today in this video we are going to implement this blur effect from scratch and we'll uh, do this in React JS. So uh, without wasting any time let's uh, write the code. So for this particular uh, video I have created a small React project via npx create react app and the project name is progressive image. So once this uh, script uh, when this project is done uh, building uh, let's uh, go into that progressive image and do npm start okay so i have uh, started a development server over here and let us have a look at the folder structure so in the src file we have we will be uh, modifying uh, app.js and uh, we are going to create one component as well and for your information i have added uh, two images already uh, one is this uh, large.jpg okay so this is a particular uh, a large image and uh, let's wait for it to load so this is the actual large image which is of the size 2.5 mb and uh, on side of it i have you know a tiny version of this uh, jpg so you can to create this tiny version of image you can probably go to any online uh, com compressor tool and you can resize the image uh, to this very small dimension okay so this you see you can see that this uh, this is already very pixelated in itself okay so this uh, tiny jpg uh, is what we are going to use and we have this large dot jpg which we are trying to uh, we were trying to render in the uh, previous example okay now let's uh, go ahead and uh, uh, clear things out for us 
first of all let's see uh, if we are so we have loaded this react project let me close this tab and do a uh, inspect okay and let's go to the network tab fine so this is what we need and now uh, what i'll do is i'll get rid of this content i really don't need this much and i'll create a fragment okay and in this part i'll create a new file called uh, this is will this will be a progressive image component i'll name it as progress progressive image dot js okay so this is our uh, project and what i'm going to do is i'm create going to create a function progressive image and we are going to take props and this is the part and i'm doing export export default progressive image okay so this is the part and let us also import uh use state and use effect because we are going to need it use state from react use effect from react okay perfect and we are going to return a gsx which is basically a image tag and this would have a src uh, we will see in a moment what it what uh, the value will be of the src attribute we are going to have a class name and we are also going to have height width and let's destructure the props const height width a uh, placeholder image and src props and also we are going to create one state variable for us which is const image source set source use a state and this would be either the placeholder image or the src okay and i'm going to set the src to uh, img src class name we can uh, ignore it for now we can pass height and we are going to pass width okay so this was our progressive image now let's uh, import it over here import progressive image from progressive image and uh, I am gonna add a h1 tag saying pro gre is a progressive image and I'm gonna use my progressive image component over here and um, yeah so what I'm gonna pass I'm gonna pass the src and I'm gonna pass a placeholder image and also i'm gonna pass height and width so i'm assuming height and width to be 450 for this particular example and let us import these images also uh, so i'll do a import large img from dot slash images slash um what was the name it was large dot jpg okay large dot jpg and similarly i'm gonna import the tiny one and let's change the name tiny tiny image 
so this tiny image is going to act as a placeholder image that uh, blurred one okay and the actual image is a large image that is of 2.5 mb okay now uh, let us uh, load the page and see what we are observing uh, okay class name is empty okay let me pass empty string for now Great. So you can see that we have this uh, pixelated uh, tiny URL. Okay. Uh, so it is uh, JPEG uh, base 64. Okay. So we have loaded that small image. Okay. That is of size 1.1 kb. Okay. So this was loaded pretty quick and uh, we can see it, it is of 450 by 450 and it is pixelated. Right and it doesn't looks good at the moment but um, uh, we can improve that uh, by using uh, the filter property of css but before uh, going uh, before writing css uh, it's crucial for us to write the logic to lo uh, load the actual src because for now we are just uh, showing the placeholder image so what i'll do is i'll create a hook use effect okay and in this particular part uh, i am gonna say const img equals to new new image object okay and uh, img dot src equals to uh, src okay so we are pointing to this particular src over here now i am gonna load this image so image dot on load okay so this function would be triggered when the network call is made to fetch the uh, image and once the image is loaded this particular function call uh, img.onload will be triggered so once this function is triggered i want to do a set as src and i'm going to set the src to src okay so uh, so this means that we loaded the image right uh, once the uh, once we have the image uh, in our memory we are, all we are going to do is update the src tag src attribute actually okay uh, and we are going to pass src as the dependency in the use effect now let us see if this is working as expected perfect so when this image was loaded you can see that the tiny image like that the pixelated one was removed and uh, the fresh uh, the actual image was loaded for the user right so this was the small logic that we can use and also we we have to make sure that the tiny pixelated image is blurry for the user so that uh, you know it is not unpleasing uh, pleasing for the user to show see that uh, pixelated uh, version of the image so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, use something of app.css okay so i am going to delete everything uh, let's give some body a padding of 10 pixels probably okay and i am gonna create two classes uh, one is loading okay uh, in loading the filter filter property blur the blur uh, should be of 10 pixels dot loaded and what i am gonna do is i am gonna remove the filter okay the blur property so i am gonna set it to zero pixels okay now let's uh, go to this component of ours progressive image and over here let's you know we are going to create const uh, custom class uh, equals to if placeholder image was provided and imgsrc is equals to placeholder image this means that we are loading it right so we, it is loading else it was loaded okay 
and let's pass this custom class over here and let us see it in action right you can see that this time we see a blurry uh, image over here and once the image is loaded we can see the clear uh, fine uh, sharp and the clear picture so this was uh, one thing and also i think we can add uh, one more animation i guess uh, transition transition filter uh, 0 0.5 seconds linear I think this should be uh, looking good for us. Perfect. So you can see that uh, the transition was actually smooth and all of a sudden we didn't see the sharp image. It felt like an animation for us, right? So this is the good thing. So we have created this ge generic component which is a uh, progressive image and we uh, saw how we can you know use simple logic to uh, achieve these things. Many people try to import library and do the stuffs and they are unnecessarily increasing the uh, bundle size of their websites right. So I don't think uh, uh, you need any external uh, you know package or library to achieve this. You can simply you know create a custom component from scratch for yourself and it is just uh, 25 lines of code for you right and this is gonna save a lot of uh, you know memory for, for your website and uh, we can uh, pass the src placeholder image height width and you can reuse this component in almost every page right so you can progressive load uh, any image uh, on your website uh, using this logic and uh, so the overall uh, thing which we achieved is that if we want to show large image for a particular user it's better to show a very tiny uh, you know a placeholder kind of image that is approximately 1 kb of the size and uh, do a blur effect on it once you have the actual image loaded you replace the src of that particular image with the uh, latest one of the new image this way uh, we achieved uh, the progressive image and this particular uh, you know methodology is extensively used uh, in uh, you know new websites and this is a very uh, popular approach so yeah do let me know in the comments if you have any questions and this was all in this video uh, till then take care goodbye see you in the next one